Butch Maggie with another Soul Food Sunday. Hope your weekend is going well. I want to ask a question. Have you ever felt like you have been living in the shadows of someone else? This happens a lot in families. Maybe you've been known all your life as so-and-so's little sister or so-and-so's little brother or they know the parents and you are, oh, is so-and-so your dad, your mom? You know, we've been identified by someone else and if we're not careful, we can easily slip into this mode of, well, people don't even see me. Do you feel unseen? The best is yet to come. I want to share just a little portion of scripture. Chances are you're familiar, but to see it in a different way and how it might apply to you. This is in 1 Samuel 16. And the prophet Samuel is going, he's sent by God, and he's going to Bethlehem. And God tells him, go to the house of Jesse because I'm going to anoint the new king. Most of us don't have any clue of what's inside of us and God's plan for us. So he goes to the home of Jesse and he says, are these all of your sons? And one by one, they pass by the prophet. The oldest, he looks at and he thinks, surely this is him. He looks, you know, like he's a man of power. He thinks, surely this is the next king. But as he walks by, the Lord tells the prophet, nope, not this one. So then the next son comes along and the next and the next. And six sons come by. And the prophet, you know, is going back and forth with God. And it's like, nope, none of these. And so finally, Samuel the prophet says to Jesse, do you have any other sons? And it's like an afterthought. Do you ever feel like an afterthought? Well, there is David. He's out tending the sheep. And I think a lot of times over the years, we may have felt like David. We're that forgotten kid. We're the one that people said, everybody else here has potential, but not him, not her. And of course, we know David's illustrious um, future ahead of him, but nobody knew then. And too often we're living in this place of, I haven't done anything. I haven't measured up. People look at my last name and they write me off. And yet God has so much more in store for you, just like he did with David. And the thing that I love is, again, as the prophet is having this silent conversation with the Lord, the Lord says, do not look at his appearance. And he's talking about the other sons. He says, don't look at his appearance or his physical stature. I have caused you to refuse him. For the Lord does not see man as man sees man. But he, we tend to look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And that's really what matters, is the heart. And a lot of times we are thinking, if I could just do this, if I could just do that. And we're trying to work our way up that ladder. And we already have a place. God already has a place in store for us. As I was thinking about this last night, you're going to think I'm crazy. But I imagined when they finally went out and they were scrambling, where's David? Where's David? Finally brought David. And of course, he comes in and he probably looks like his hair's all over the place. And he's like, what, what? What did I, am I in trouble? And Samuel looks at him and says, this is the one. And as I was thinking of this, I thought of Cinderella and her wicked stepsisters. And, you know, the prince comes and they're all trying to squeeze their foot into that glass slipper. And of course, it doesn't fit. We can't force things. But finally, it's like, is there anyone else? Well, there's Cinderella. And so she comes and her foot fits perfectly. And I think it's time for all of us who maybe felt like we've missed the boat. We're too old, we're too this. We don't have enough. We don't have the finances. We don't have the past. We don't have the right name. All of those things, a lot of times, 
we think have disqualified us. But God has something way more than we could ever think or imagine. No one knew at that point this scruffy little kid would eventually become the king of Israel, a man after God's own heart. And that's what I want to be, a woman after God's own heart. Let's push behind us whatever past, whatever failures, whatever disappointments we've seen in life, we've experienced in life. God has so, so much more in store for us. So let's go out and be victorious. Yes, there's going to be hurdles. David had a lot of hurdles in life. The first one was Goliath. And some of those hurdles are big. But the beauty of it is it was a big hurdle. But all David had to do was to show up, pull out what you know he knew to do. He was good with the slingshot. Everything you need is in you. And so remember that. But we can't do it without the Lord. That's the difference. A lot of us are walking around with everything available to us. But we've not invited the Lord to partner with us so that we could start conquering those giants. So the power is in you when you walk along with the Lord at your side. So go out, have an amazing week. Come back tomorrow for a five-minute Monday mindset. Take care, and as always, God bless.